In January 2022, the Tonkin Islands experienced a catastrophic event initiated by renewed activity of the dormant Hunga Tonga, Hunga Hapai volcano. The eruption, unlike previous ones, led to a massive tsunami, impacting 84% of Tonga's population. The eruption's severity caused damage to homes and farms, displacement, casualties, and communication network failures. Ash clouds hindered visibility and communication, causing anguish for those with relatives on the islands. Tricia Emerson, an Australian with family in Tonga, faced an agonizing wait to hear from her uncle. The eruption's aftermath left the Tongan Islands devastated, resonating globally, even reaching India. After the tsunami, many Tongan residents found themselves with nothing. Teacher Dalit, who had to seek refuge on high ground, discovered her home and possessions had been swept away. Rescue workers provided shelter for her and her family, initially in a tent and later in a surviving residence, offering a glimmer of hope amid the disaster. The volcanic eruption in January 2022 was analyzed by experts and found to be extraordinarily powerful, breaking records. The eruption generated an ash plume and released an unprecedented amount of water into the atmosphere. The ash reached a height never before observed by scientists, equivalent to filling around 60,000 Olympic swimming pools with it. Another remarkable finding was the creation of a massive weather system by the plume resulting in the most intense lightning storm ever recorded. At its peak, there were approximately 2,600 lightning bolts per minute, marking a level of intensity that had never been witnessed. The eruption had profound consequences for the people of Tonga, causing fear and upheaval. It emphasized the need for better preparedness for submarine volcano eruptions, which are not adequately monitored. There are numerous potentially active submarine volcanoes worldwide, but monitoring them is challenging due to cost and technical limitations. The Hunga eruption was a reminder of the potential threats these underwater volcanoes pose to vulnerable populations globally, given the limited understanding of their behavior and potential impact. Only a limited fraction of these underwater volcanoes have been comprehensively mapped, and their inner workings remain largely enigmatic. Delving into the complexities of these submerged structures is easier said than done, primarily due to their inaccessibility beneath the ocean's surface. To study them, experts require an array of specialized equipment, which comes at a significant cost, an expense that smaller countries like Tonga find challenging to meet. The high price tag of the equipment essential for underwater volcano research is just one facet of the issue. Additionally, the operation of this advanced technology demands well-trained individuals, making it a complex endeavor. Utilizing it in underwater settings, even in relatively shallow areas, proves to be extremely challenging. Consequently, the collective result is that we are left in our current predicament, with little knowledge of which underwater volcanoes might erupt at any given moment. Despite the formidable obstacles, the stakes are high, as lives hang in the balance. While we may not pinpoint the specific high-risk underwater volcanoes, scientists express particular concern about those in the broader Western Pacific region. A vulnerable stretch, approximately 1,740 miles long, extending from Japan, raises significant concern. Likewise, the vicinity where Tonga, Fiji, and Samoa are situated appears to be geologically active. The same applies to the Aleutian Islands of Alaska, sharing characteristics with the Hunga volcano in Europe, the submarine volcano known as Mirasili, residing just over 100 miles off the coast of Naples beneath the Tyrrhenian Sea, poses a significant threat. An eruption could trigger a catastrophic tsunami. As seen in Tonga, these waves could reach heights of up to 100 feet, affecting regions such as Sicily and Calabria. Kenna Harmony Rubin, a geochemistry and volcanology professor at the University of Hawaii, laments the state of submarine volcano monitoring, which lags behind its terrestrial counterpart. This deficiency is indeed a pressing concern, especially for those residing in high-risk areas. A glimmer of hope lies in the potential for improvement in submarine volcano monitoring, 
as technology advances. However, the current financial demands for this endeavor are considerable, with estimates suggesting a daily cost of $36,000 per several hundred known submarine volcanoes. Given the expenses involved, this network remains prohibitively expensive, underscoring the urgency of this issue. Nonetheless, there is optimism that future generations of cost-effective sensors will emerge, simplifying monitoring efforts. In the interim, communities near underwater volcanoes can only hope for their continued dormancy. Dr. Ruin, a scientist quoted in the Washington Post, acknowledges that the global scientific community has not reached the desired level of submarine volcano monitoring. Nevertheless, with technological advancements over the next decade, the situation may improve. Currently, at-risk countries must work with the resources available to them. Tonga, acutely aware of the peril posed by submarine volcanic eruptions, has taken proactive measures in the wake of the Hunga eruption. Scientists across the nation have worked tirelessly to install new monitoring equipment. Thermal infrared detectors will monitor temperatures around volcanic vents and crevices, while devices will track volcanic gas levels signaling any anomalies. Additionally, Tonga is introducing synthetic aperture radar to monitor ground topography for any signs of magma swelling. As of September 2023, four of the planned eight seismographs in Tonga are operational, marking a positive step. However, the absence of seismographic data prior to this initiative means that scientists are uncertain about what constitutes normal activity. Even if all the technology functions optimally, eruptions can still occur with minimal warning. As scientists continue their efforts to comprehend this remarkable phenomenon and prepare for future events, the people of Tonga grapple with the aftermath of the recent eruption. The eruption caused extensive displacement, resulting in the loss of homes, businesses, and livelihoods. The future remains uncertain for many Tongans who are attempting to rebuild their lives. Those who survive the tsunami and volcanic eruption face an arduous journey towards recovery, with deep emotional scars that may never fully heal. Thanks for watching, and please remember to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. And don't forget to like, comment, and share the video.